whatever side of gun control or lack thereof you're on, what can we do? Dwight Bain, uh, counselor, uh, I'm certain as uh, Mr. Bain listened to our panelists, he deals with grief counselors. He has been at 9-11. Columbine has been face-to-face -face with families and victims. Uh, your, the floor is yours. Every one of us will remember where we were on June the 12th. There's a basic principle, and the sheriff talked about it, debriefing. And the principle is very powerful. If you talk through it, you can get through it. My hope is that all across Central Florida, people will have conversations tonight. Not conversations of fear and not conversations of hiding, but conversations of being able to talk about something that happens after a crisis, after a shooting. You see, one path goes to PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, which is self-destructive. People become suicidal. But there's another path that's called post-traumatic growth, PTG. Post-traumatic growth happens when people have conversations and they tell their stories. Post-traumatic growth, do you see it? I'd like to hear about it because I want to keep it going. I immediately saw, I had heard that term before, post-traumatic growth, but I've had an opportunity to speak at a lot of either crisis management, communication, terrorist um, things. So I've learned a lot about response to terrorism that I didn't know on June the 12th. And we responded with love. We responded with compassion and we responded with unity. And I think that's a model for the entire rest of the world. And you can't create that on June the 12th. If we weren't already a community that embraced inclusiveness and diversity and fairness and equality, you can't conjure that up on June the 12th. And this community was already that way. But I think that we have grown in answer to your question. I think that we have grown even more in the last year and we're a more resilient community and there are a lot of people that maybe weren't as accepting of people with different lifestyles or a different ethnic background than they were and quite honestly the country's a lot different than it was a year ago right now but i think in orlando we are in a good spot we're in a bubble right here the day after Pulse, I, I can't believe it was literally the very next night as we all gathered here for the first vigil, spontaneous vigil. I'll tell you candidly, I did not expect much of a turnout. I expected people to be too fearful to gather. We knew so little about what the motivation was of that mass murder. And it was a reasonable, logical thing for people to close themselves in, shut themselves off, fear for their lives, and just keep their heads down. I probably one of the most healing moments for me was walking out there and seeing that entire lawn packed with people who weren't doing that. People that were doing exactly what you're talking about. We hope thank you so much. And we are going to take a break right now. We'll be back right after this. Mm -hmm.